Keir Starmer stinks. And you know what he stinks of? Hypocrisy. In fact, he smells so bad of it, you can smell it from a mile away. And I am now of the opinion that Keir Starmer is the biggest hypocrite in political history. And just in case you aren't convinced of that yet, let me show you this video of him. Story. To change Britain, we must change ourselves. We need to clean up politics. No more VIP fast lanes. No more kickbacks for colleagues. No more revolving doors between government and the companies they regulate. I will restore standards in public life with a total crackdown on cronyism. So, what did you just commit to? Let, let's hear that again. Companies they regulate. I will restore standards in public life with a total crackdown on cronyism. I will restore standards in public life with a total crackdown on cronyism. Look at you on your little moral high horse before you are in government. You have shown that you absolutely love cronyism from the moment you stepped into office. In fact, before you even stepped into office, because you were taking money for penthouses, uh, for GCSE accommodation for your son that cost an absolute fortune before you even won the general election. So, I mean, the hypocrisy is off the scale. He just says what people want to hear. He does not emulate what he says his moral compass is in his actual day-to-day -day life. He is flip-flop Starmer. We know he's just at a, as much as the Tories, if not worse. I, I don't understand how anyone can trust him as a politician and not say that he is one of the biggest hypocrites, at, or if, if not the biggest hypocrite in political history after seeing, you know, not just that video, but the many, many videos that we have seen. I just did a video yesterday, check it out if you haven't, about the tuition fees where we've got videos of him saying how passionate he is as a working class boy who found the idea of university and debt scary. He is so passionate about scrapping university tuition fees. He's so committed to it. Now he's in power, not scrapping them, but raising them, right? I actually don't think that that is a bad policy. I think that we should pay up for our university education. I think it's probably about time that the fees went up a little bit because the universities are having to import a million foreign students um, in order to cross subsidize the domestic students that don't really pay them enough money to get by. So I'm actually okay with that policy. It's the hypocrisy of it that absolutely stinks. I am so fed up of him. Now, before we end this video, I wanted to show you this video, which I think just sums up this madness very well. Now this is the Labour Party cabinet heading to an emergency cabinet meeting. Love it, that's them, that's the Labour cabinet, a bunch of clowns. It's a total clown show, ladies and gentlemen. And on that cheery note, we will end this video. I'm Chloe Dobbs. This is another video for reason. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel so you do not miss out. I'll see you all soon.